You ready to fight? You ready? All right, Mike Tyson and John Jones. It just does not get a whole lot better than this. And Mike Tyson, despite being on the wrong end of the MMA experience equation, believes that he's got the faster hands, the better footwork, and he's ready to put it on Johnny Bones here tonight. There's no question about that. Tyson does have the better footwork. Tyson does have the faster hands. But can he match the IQ of John Jones? Can he match the smarts and the wits of John Jones with all that championship level experience inside the octagon? Time to find out right now. All right, no surprise to see Johnny Bones Jones open with some of those long-range weapons and finding some early success in this one. That's exactly what he does. He throws the front kick to the leg, and he throws those lead kicks to the body. He's long, he's 6'4 for the weight class, and he has learned masterfully how to fight with his height and his range. Shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Johnny Bone. Beautiful takedown score there. Tyson gets back up again. Nicely done. All right, you see his high-level footwork here. Maybe trying to set up that hook shot again. You could tell Johnny's setting a trap. He's trying to walk his opponent back into his hook side, his big power side. So he'll keep faint, not little punches, with no intent to land, just to get his opponent where he needs him to be to land that kill shot. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yes. Oh, no. Back to his feet. And a knee. to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well done to catch the kick. This is Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that kick. Oh, uppercut. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that opportunity. Uh, no. no. Well, I don't think his corner is going to step in here, but maybe the referee will take a close look. Oh, yeah! Oh, he gets up here, but he is on wobbly legs. Big elbow there, Lance. They're coming at it here. Huge shots landing on both sides. All right, that is the end of the round. Jones's eye is in real trouble, folks. That does not look good. I wouldn't be at all surprised to see the ringside position be called on here. He might even stop the fight. We'll see. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays from the previous round. Well, he's got some work to do. The cut man's gonna have to work a miracle because this guy was on the receiving end of some real damaging shots. And if he doesn't do something different defensively, it's going to get worse. And if it gets worse, the fight may be stopped. You ready to fight? Ready. Second ready. round underway. Punch over the top. Nice connection there by John Jones. And Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Nice defense to block the elbow. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. I think the octagon's shaking, DC. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors <laughs> because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom 
And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. Well, he has done some serious damage with these elbows, DC. And if you're on the other side, you got to figure out a way to stop this from happening. You got to get those hands up. You got to block whenever you're in tight. Make sure you're not taking all these nasty elbows. Yes, smart adjustment. Yep. We have crossed the midpoint of this fight. Oh, nice. He's got to start throwing now. Oh, man, another strike gets through. And now things are critical. We got a lot of blood, folks. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Looks like he's got that submission locked in. He's really advanced now. Looks like he's going to get the finish. Arm still not out of harm's way yet. Look at all the pressure on the arm. Squeeze, squeeze. Still in hot pursuit of the submission here. Lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm. Now on a quick hit. Oh! To a high crotch, rotated him and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. now. All right, round three coming up next. Hey, stop. All right, so that round is in the books. Jones's eye right, is in rough shape. I mean, I would just probably quit, but he's not going to do that. But I would not be surprised if the ringside physician did come in and take a look at that here between rounds. that much is so impressive because his opponent is getting back to his feet but he's got this ability to continue to chase takedowns all right so he catches the kick and promptly counters with the takedown and puts him on his back nicely done he knew exactly what he was doing he knew if he had an opportunity to secure a leg off of the kick he would go right to his takedown and it worked perfection well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yeah, it's, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Tyson's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Great time on that take. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Ground and pound the hammer. Mark Coleman will be proud. That guillotine is tight. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. 
are. Well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's going to get his hand raised tonight. He's got to go forward. He's got to just throw everything. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Chest. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm close to the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close to the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take the oh. 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 He can't even stand. Those fighters exhausted here. Elbow landed there by Jones. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. A lot of top pressure being applied here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Jones is able to transition back to side control now. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment, yep. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score this contest 30-27, 9-28, and 30-27. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Iron Mike Tyson! So, big UFC win for Iron Mike Tyson here tonight. Words you probably thought you'd never hear, but since crossing over from boxing, it has been all systems go for the former boxing champion.